Today's the first time I'm gonna be referring to my video essay-ish videos as a gloss over or glow for short because I have made quite a few of those. If you're gonna go back and see the playlist that I'm gonna create today, there's gonna be 18 videos before this one. This one is gonna be officially Glow 01, but I wanted a bit more organization on my channel. And I feel like because I make so many videos that are in so many different genres, I need to make sure that when people subscribe for my fashion videos, they can see that it's, you know, a fashion video. And if it's about video essay stuff, they're gonna immediately see where they can go to see that. If you've been online at all in the past couple of weeks, you have seen the Jojo Siwa rebellion, her mm, rebrand. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of different clips and different information about it or whatever, because I'm sure you have seen it already. And if you haven't, the only things that you need to know is that Jojo Siwa, the girly pop, from dance moms rainbow candy colored legging wearing glitter tops type of shtick this is very typical for any type of media that's made for children in america i'm sure that if you are american or you are european wherever you are from but you're if you're familiar <laughs> with uh, disney channel if you're familiar with nickelodeon if you're familiar with child stars from america if you're familiar with this aesthetic you're familiar with everything that jojo siwa stands for basically she is in many ways trying to transition into her adult persona nowadays and it's kind of the same thing as you know miley cyrus has done and jojo will not let you forget that Miley is her inspiration because she literally incessantly mentions her. What I want to talk about here is obsession that Hollywood has with rebellion, but the most toothless kind, the most useless kind, and the type that honestly we probably shouldn't even be paying attention to at all. We have this idea, at least many of us do, that rebellion is usually packaged in a specific way and a lot of it comes from obviously the subcultures that were popular in the 60s 70s 80s 90s even and those subcultures have persisted for years we know that there's many many designers who come from those subcultures for example vivian westwood and punk but what has started as a real subculture and a real type of rebellion has become an aesthetic and we have flattened everything about ourselves in the past four years honestly to the point where it is impossible to tell whether someone is just participating in aesthetic or actually believes in any of the ideals that are associated with a certain look i have noticed more and more that we have a very interesting look at rebellion and what we sanitized to be considered rebellion and what it actually used to be at its core. Let me actually break this down by quickly mentioning that Jojo's aesthetic that she's trying to hit right now is very much Kiss, the band, uh, especially Gene Simmons. And that is actually who I want to dog on a little bit as well. It is very funny how a lot of guys over the years have kind of consistently portrayed themselves as rebellious and crazy and rockers and <laughs> which is honestly just the most ridiculous thing imaginable because kiss jin simmons are the most toothless fuckers around i would probably put them in the same category of being edgy or subversive as jojo siwa they would have the exact same impact on anything in existence to be fucking honest because both of them are rebels without a cause they are basically rebellious only for the sake of the aesthetic and with Jingin, it's also for his ego. It's kind of really funny when you look at Kiss and their music. I don't know why anyone even liked their aesthetic that is so rock. Steals a lot from the subversive bands of the time. And it's really interesting how toothless they are to compare to literally any other band of the time who authentically had that aesthetic. It is just incredible to see that a person like Jin Simmons who supports and protects and values the status quo to an incredible degree. This is, just to remind you, is a very nationalist person who wasn't even born in America, but is just so obsessed with national that he is basically nothing but 
a bunch of stereotypes of that type of person. And he's obviously done a lot of bad things as well, like I say, and I'm not going to get into all of that because I want to talk about the fact that Hollywood consistently tries to bring up rebellion into pop culture in a way that is manageable in a way that is digestible and in a way that is entirely toothless no impact is going to be made ever ever because impact is not what they're looking for this is the type of thing that we've talked about before when we talked about the hunger games uh when i reviewed the costuming in the latest addition to the hunger games franchise we have seen with our own two eyes, how many people who have made that movie have been literally against any type of rebellion or fighting back, how much they actually didn't support any of the beliefs that they have heavily profited off of. Like the fact that that director, and I hope to God he took his words back or whatever, I don't know, I don't keep up with him anymore because I don't want to, but I hope that he changed his mind because making that scene with Katniss calling out the capital and saying that if we burn you burn with us it's crazy that he filmed that said cut cashed his check and then proceeded to wholeheartedly support crazy long-standing imperialism and colonization that his tax money is perpetrating we consistently have rebellion commodified to the point where we need to have a gene simmons who is all drunk comes into the room or whatever of some kind of tv program or whatever and he gets ostracized for it not for his beliefs that are also all that are all disgusting but specifically for his inappropriate behavior at work or whatever so everyone knows him for that instead of the other horrible shit that he's done or said or supported and this new rebellion being pushed down our throats every few years with a new generation of entertainers just to make sure that the people that we see as rebellious as shaking the status quo as someone who is contributing to society in great ways because they're challenging some kind of preconceived notions or whatever the fuck we consistently need to make sure that in our collective mind we think that Jen Sim Simmons, Jojo Siwa, Beyonce, Grimes, Kiss of Life with their, you know, with the aesthetic in their music video where they're like being arrested by the police or whatever the fuck. We need to consistently use rebellion and sticking it to the man in a way that is vacuous enough to make everyone think that if you're doing all of this, if you just participate in the aesthetic of rebellion, you are a rebel and you are someone who is consistently questioning the way that our society is functioning. The reason why we need that is because then when students on their campuses, like right now with a bunch of university campuses all across the world, honestly, not just North America, are going out there and showing their support or showing what they personally believe is right or just, that we can be very easily manipulated into thinking that they are terrorists. This word is used very often by the media, the media that's specifically affiliated with governments and with corporations, which is obviously all media in the way that in, in our world, it's basically all media. We consistently have the same goddamn situation happen where if this watered down bullshit of kids going, ah! <laughs> is considered to be the rebellion, then anything that you do when it actually disrupts the norm and when it actually demands attention and it actually enacts change, you will be easily marked as a criminal. It's really easy to convince all of us that they are going too far if someone is standing in the middle of the road and they're like blocking the road to go somewhere or whatever the fuck. Like it's really easy to look at them and be like, they're going too far because we are taught that this controlled and causeless rebellion is what is actual rebellion supposed to be. This is the exact same thing with people like Beyonce, for example, and hear me out. I love Beyonce's music, okay? Don't jump on my throat. But you have got to agree. She was using feminism as an aesthetic as a tactic to make more money, nothing more. There is not a single thought that came in 
that was worried about the collective good. Her helping out Hallie and Chloe, for example, to get a better career or whatever, is not an altruistic type of deal. Both of them are talented, both of them would be profitable if signed, both of them look good on paper, and this is specifically what we are seeing a lot in Hollywood, is the way that we have this faux diversity where Hollywood will choose to portray someone who's not just like a cis white man whatever straight whatever the fuck right and still would choose somebody who is so far removed from the 99 percent just for the sake of showing to the masses that if you behave yourself in a certain way, if you just adhere to everything perfectly, you have a chance to be Beyonce. You know what I mean? When in reality, this type of wealth her and Jay-Z acquired is not acquired through any just means and is more akin to the 1% behavior, which is a very homogenized group if you know what I mean. And even though they bring in this feeling of diversity into the room, it does not change the fact that they are not actually a representation of their own group of people. Because when you start acting like an oppressor, you ain't a part of your group anymore. And this is something that happens really often. It's kind of textbook, to be honest. And when people get offended about it and they kind of try to protect Taylor Swift, for example, or Beyonce or Rihanna from any criticism, I am going to tell you right away, I listen to all of their music. I do. I don't give a fuck to protect them from criticism, though, because our pursuit of equality is being used against us in these instances. A lot of the activism that Taylor Swift, for example, shows, it is the type of activism that only benefits people like her. She does not give a fuck about actual true liberation. It's kind of the same as like some politicians too. It's kind of like all of them think that what we want in terms of equality is them to allow us to commit war crimes instead of stopping war crimes altogether. It's like they want equality in terms of just optics, just like on the outside. They want it to look like it's diverse. They do not actually want diversity in terms of views, in terms of backgrounds and other things like that. Because even if your background is different, like for example, Jay-Z did not come from money. He has become a part of the world that oppresses everyone else, like literally the, the rest of the world, because that's what he wanted, you know, like he wanted to do these things. And it's, it's basically just this whole conversation is to say that this normalization of what is actually subversive being so watered down makes it impossible to actually show the innocence of people who are advocating for themselves when anything that goes beyond being vacuous, having just the aesthetic of rebellion and none of the actual suggestions or demands, it makes it very easy for us to live out the rebellion dream while actually not enacting any change or anything like that. This is the reason why so many people uh, in like, if you watch, for example, long running comedy series where there's 10 seasons and you're watching a group of friends being friends like friends you have this situation where oftentimes they talk about the way that you change from the time that you are young to the time when you're an adult or a an old person how you change from being on the left side of the political spectrum or going all the way to the right side of the political spectrum but in reality you have never been on the left side of the political spectrum because the entire time it was just cosmetic, it was just performative, and you did not give a fuck the entire way through. I don't know what to tell you. You just didn't give a fuck the entire time. And the reason why people think that they were part of something is because they were dressed in hippie clothes and they were smoking weed and they said, legalize weed. And they think that that's what makes them left wing for some reason. Like, they genuinely think that they were left-wing when they were young. That's why they keep on saying this stupid-ass myth while they keep on propagating it and being like, oh, you will become right-wing when you're older. Is because, like, they those ideas have never been theirs. The only thing that changed is cosmetic. The only thing that's changed is that they went from trying to steal other people's authentic aesthetic that comes from their experiences to them reclaiming their parents' aesthetic that will grant them access to their wealth, their um, generational wealth that was not acquired in any nice type of way, if you know what I mean. Taylor Swift singing that 
song of the man or whatever the hell and then continuing <laughs> with upholding all of the ideals of um, greedy corporations that basically swallow our governments whole and become our governments is crazy like you can't be doing all that get praise for being so open-minded and, and calling everyone out and being so dangerous to the status quo when in reality you're not doing none of that kiss putting on all that makeup, covering themselves in blood on stage, and singing their silly little songs, they're not doing nothing. They weren't doing anything the entire way through. They were useless from the beginning. And everyone who is... Because the thing is, I grew up with all the old men constantly fucking praising this band, constantly talking about them as if they're some kind of rebels. They're so cool. They've done so much in terms of just challenging you what is normal they just put fucking makeup on bitch i don't know what to tell you that's not very subversive especially for a rock star how is that how is that sub this is kind of the type of thing where people are like oh harry styles is just subverting the expectation bitch just put nail polish on you can't be serious you cannot be serious it's just the most like can we i i don't think that at this point in time we can afford to think or to even talk about people like Jojo Siwa changing their aesthetic as anything but, okay, so the girl is playing with makeup. She ain't changing nothing. She's saying that she wants to create gay pop. She wants to lean into her like queer identity because she knows that it will be considered subversive in one way or another but in reality if you are just going for a queer aesthetic but there's no actual support for policies that are supporting the lgbtq plus community you ain't doing shit and even when you we are talking about social uh, norms and social policies and stuff like that none of them are strong enough to actually enact change or to affect people in any type of way unless we are focusing on the economic part of it the reason why it's important that there is representation or diversity in every group or in every level of you know um, government for example or whatever is because we, we it's not because we need more people of different just like colors sitting in one room it's because we need their perspective their real perspective we need a sample of actual people not someone who was so privileged in their group of people that they are basically on the same level as anybody else in any other group because there's a certain amount of money you can hit that will make you basically invincible doesn't matter what you look like doesn't matter where you come from as long as you have that money you will be treated like a person anywhere in the world Okay, that's how the world functions. The biggest divider between classes and looking at all of this stupid rebellion that they're showing on TV and they are constantly showing in movies and whatever, while at the same time they get so pissy about you asking the most normal questions about how they run things. It's crazy. Anyway, I just wanted to dog on Gene Simmons because he can suck my ass to be honest. No, that's too much of a privilege. I will come up with a better thing that I want him to do. <laughs> I did come up with a better thing for him to do. That's more of an insult, but I don't want to say it because I am not feeling like it. I know that this is a, just a silly thing that everyone's talking about. Like everyone just wants to talk about the memes and whatever. And the memes are memeing. I am using karma as a bitch. I should have known better. Like I just used it in my recent reaction to Barbie Fairytopia, babe. <laughs> like I did. Karma is a bitch. You're gay. <laughs> I'm enjoying all of that, but at the same time, I'm tired of watching the like all of these video essays and quotations that are not really actually hitting on what is so annoying about this type of transition. Yes, she's behaving the same way. Yes, because people are like, well, it's not working because she's still behaving the same exact way she did when she was wearing the rainbow color stuff. And it's like, yeah, but it's also not working because she's not a rebel she wants to look like a rebel she isn't one because even in terms of her corporate behavior she just abused a bunch of children who are disabled for the sake of her coin what kind of rebellion are we talking about she is the most devoted believer into the system that we have in place right now she would become the highest priestess there is in the exploitation church that we are all forced to be in what are we talking about what kind of rebel what are we talking about 
just explain that to me because the thing is like i genuinely and i mean i'm not this is no shade to people who are making videos just talking about the aesthetic or whatever whatever because technically speaking they didn't want to make a heavy video maybe they just wanted to like you know have a laugh whatever but I do want to start talking about this specifically that we just have so much media that it uses the aesthetic of being such a criminal like being such a rebel just getting arrested while they're dancing on cars and that's actually the same thing that la seraphim does and i love la seraphim i have their albums and whatever but they're doing the same shit they're like oh my god i'm unforgiven unforgiven with what girl you're literally doing you're adhering to every single beauty standard every single standard in terms of how you speak how you act and whatever maybe yunjin is a little bit you know like has a some beef with the korean public or whatever but generally speaking they are hitting all of those points and it's just so typical of companies like hype to commodify any type of rebellion so young people who are quite impressionable can participate in the actions and feel like they're doing something like they're so you know they're really enacting change just by listening to something like La Seraphim or by supporting Taylor Swift and buying her albums and putting her on the number one spot on the whatever chart it is that we're like changing something right and in some ways those things do change something about the public perception we do need more different types of people who are succeeding or whatever the fuck but generally speaking we shouldn't be succeeding in this particular way we shouldn't be looking forward to making the lineup of billionaires more diverse. They shouldn't exist at all, if you catch my drift. <laughs> In any case, this, not, this is not a rebellion. And this has been Glow01. We glossed over the topic that everyone is talking about and then we got to the thing that I wanted to say. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. I'll be back soon with another video. Hopefully, you're enjoying this setup. Hopefully, when I look back on this footage i don't look horrible because this camera is way this camera is fucking 4k i it might be a bit too much <laughs> also look at how cool this shirt is it fits me so fucking well and i thrifted it okay look at this bitch look at it it's got lacing on the back girl yeah yeah <laughs>